Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to Dial R Sweetlick Tactics. So, I haven't really made a video of me covering the collab event now that it is officially live in-game and kind of giving you guys my thoughts on what I think about it. So, this is going to be it, right? Because tomorrow, I'm going to have up my This Week in Eternal Evolution video. That one's going to be a special one. And then, what is Wednesday? Usually is patch notes. So, we'll see what's coming uh, this week. But, for this video, we're going to discuss the uh, Evangelion uh, Eternal Evolution collab event, which is now live for a month. It's it's ongoing till January 4th. So, you know, this, this collab event is pretty much a, a reskinned version of the last one, but they have made significant changes to it, which we are going to discuss. So, and then maybe we'll pull up here, I'm going to I'm going to pull up something special for you guys after we go over the patch, something behind the curtain, behind the scenes. Okay. So, in general, in general this uh right from the get-go, right from the patch notes, uh, the community has not been impressed with the direction that they're going with this collab. Now, to be fair to the devs that they probably already had this collab event in the bag and in the pipe since the last one. We don't know that. We're just assuming that because given the uproar uh, that happened over the last one, you'd think they would have made some changes to this one. But I, I do believe that they probably had a framework uh, that they had to kind of stick to given how far along it was in the developmental process. And then that's the only reason, that's the only reason why I can assume that it, it turned out like it did. But anywho, um, you can see the dates up here, 12-7 to 1-4, right? So 24 days left. So let's start with the collab check-in. Now... This collab check-in um, looks very similar to the last one. Now, this is a 28-day login check-in, and you can go back and purchase some of the stuff that you've missed for diamonds if you forgot to collect them, or forget to log into game, I guess. Uh, so this stuff up here, this stuff, this that's just free stuff. So we still have the normal login calendar. That's just free stuff on top of everything else. So really, we have nothing to complain about this stuff up here. But you see, what do we get? One, two, three. We only get four collab tickets. So that, you know, that's not good. But, well, in fact, I'm just going to say it. That's not good given that we have five heroes instead of four, right? Because instead of two new heroes a month, they expect us to get five. And they're not really giving out a whole lot of collab tickets, but that point can be addressed when we discuss the uh, the insider information a little bit later. Now, if we look down here for the check-in streak, there is one very significant difference. Is, uh, the Ghost in the Shell one gave you Batu Day 2, right? Second day login, you got a Batu here, and then you got a Batu uh, at the very end, but instead you're getting a trophy. So, you are getting one copy of Sinjin, but it's after 17 days. Whereas, before we had it on the second one. The reason why, like, there's a very, very easy reason why they made this change. It's because they want you to buy limited tickets to go pull on the banner to get him. So that you can score higher on the collab boss. Because he's going to give you bonus points. You know, it, it's, that that's the honest truth. That's, that's why. Because they, you know, if you pull 80 chips or 80 limited tickets and you only get Mari... And you're like, damn, if I only had Sinji, I could score better. I could get a little bit better rewards than that. So I'm going to go buy some tickets and pull versus waiting uh, almost to the end. Like this is the, the, the first day of the last week, pretty much, or the last day of the third week to get your copy of Sinji. Actually, no, that's wrong. Well, it's 28 days, so whatever. We're, I'm close enough. But you see, that is why, and that is a significant change, and that is a, a worse a worse outcome than we had with the first one. So already with with this calendar and this check-in rewards, it's already worse than the last one. Alright, so we got that. If we go look at the store, let's go look at the shop. So there is a drastic change that they did here. So the collab or the Ghost in the Shell collab event, and you see this one's the full the full 24 days. Whereas the last one refreshed after two weeks. So you had Batu and Ravenna both in here for 120 red tickets, which is the big ones, the premium ones. So you could get two copies of Batu and then the trophy, right? I think there was one trophy, maybe two trophies in here from last time. Whereas now, instead of refreshing, this shop is going to stay like this for 
the full 24 days. So all you can really get and all you're going to get is maybe these top two. Because because uh, Asuka here is already proving to be very, very meta for the current Assassin team for PvP. Uh, there is footage out there. In fact, we're going to go look for it after this and I'll show you quickly what, what, the, how, what I'm talking about. But she is, for now, the most powerful out of the heroes that, that are current re currently released. And go figure because she's the paywalled one. You either have to log in every day to get enough currency to get her. You see, this is my casual account and I have 40 tickets, but I haven't been playing every day. So it's gonna, it might take me till the end if I play every day to get to, to maybe get a copy of Asuka for this account. Uh, or, you know, if you want to get her day one, you have to go spend $100 to get two copies. So the reason why they've pushed this or made this so inaccessible early is to drive mar or sales over to their pack. That's just how it is. And, uh, you know, obviously the only thing you're going to want in here, you're going to want all these limited tickets, these collab tickets. You're going to want the trophy. And you're going to want her. These three are the ones you're really going to want. The rest is all just going to be extra if it's even possible to get one. And Sinji's down here at 1,000. You see, you can only get one copy there as well. Whereas, you know, like I said before, the uh, Ghost in the Shell shop refreshed once in the middle. So you could get two copies. So this... Or this again is arguably worse than the Ghost in the Shell shop exchange shop, in my opinion. Uh, well, we'll save collab recruitment for last. Uh, the story challenge, I will admit. Ooh, and I gotta do this on this account. The story challenge is better. Um, I, I can't deny that they did. It is. It was a little bit more of a palpable story if you went through it. Um, I will give them a. Um, a passing grade on the story even though I still think that the story could be much improved on I think that given the quality of the cinematics for all the heroes that we could get some pretty really cool cutscenes in amongst all this and then the story would be beautiful we'd all be singing his praises but that's gonna require more development time as such this is just very 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 easy for them to slap together and do uh, but it is an idle game, so I do kind of kind of take that into consider consideration as well. And they did increase the amount to story to try to make it feel a little bit more sub substantial. So for this piece of content out of the collab event, I'm going to give them... I'm going to say you did better. You did better than last time, so congrats. But you, it should have been way better, in my opinion. Come on, just put cutscenes at the end of each one of these chapters, and it'd be so much better. So much better. So, there's that. Uh, what else? We got... Uh, oh, the collab pass. Okay. <laughs> there's there's no way I can sugarcoat this. This is this is just awful. How what you did here is is dirty and awful in my in my opinion. Now, obviously, for free, you're gonna get the free track. But what do you get on the free track? So you're gonna get some crystals, stuff that you don't care about. You know, little XP, little rubelite. These metallics, no one, or these medals of honor, no one cares about those. You get a few of these uh, blue tickets. There's th 30, 60, 90, 120. You get 120 blue tickets. That's nothing when you need 1,000 to get Sinji. So this free track is basically... It's still... It's not nothing. It's still f a little bit more extra than you would get just every day playing the game in the absence of the collab event. But then, you made... Two, two paid for tracks. Not one, but two. I do believe one's $15, one's 30. So if you were to buy the little one, the premium one, or the exclusive rewards, what do we got here? We got an avatar, which no one cares about. I'm just being honest, no one no one cares about this. If, if, if someone that's watching this video finds this avatar appealing, put it, say so down in the comments, because otherwise, no. So, red runes, collab pass tickets. Now we're starting to get some red tickets, red runes, collab tickets, uh, red runes, red collab, red currency tickets, collab tickets. So, this track is good rewards, and you get 10 at the end. So, that is obviously really, really good. Now, the bottom one, the $30 one, is arguably better because you're getting these collab limited tickets. You're getting one copy of Mari there. More collab tickets. And you notice how it's all two tickets. Not just one, but two. Two tickets. And then at the very end, you get another copy of Mari. 
Now, given how rare the drops are in the recruitment event, if you only get Sinji, then you might be tempted. You either you're, If you don't get Mari, then your only options are to pull all the way to 300 and hope you get her along the way or use the selector at 300. Or you buy this pass for $30 and get two copies. If you care about getting all the heroes. And that's... That is... That is just not good. That is... That is... I'm just going to say that is slimy. Having these two different tracks at cost... Different costs. That is slimy. Because the Ghost in the Shell collab battle pass was $30. Right? You got all the big stuff. Just buying the big pass. There was no, oh, now I have to buy this middle pass as well. And to be fair, you don't. But they're still kind of expecting you to do that. So this uh, this battle pass, cola battle pass, this is way worse. Way worse. But that is your option whether or not you want to buy those. But it's still it's still worse. All right, then we got the uh, the boss itself. This is exactly exactly the same as the last one. Let's look at the milestones. So these, you know, th these are all time gated. Like you're not actually killing this boss. This is time gated, so that you're going to be able to kill the last version, the third version, by the time this whole uh, 24 days is up. That's all it is, and it's not going to kill you. Although it can, I have lost some characters in there, but for the most for the most part, it's just a damage punching bag. It's just score the highest damage, which you see I am on my main account. There's me at the top. I am, but I had to spend money to get that. Uh, milestones, these are the these are probably the exact same. Yeah, these are all just tickets. Although I do believe there was limited or collab tickets in some of these last time. I, I tend to remember there being more than tickets just currency tickets last time but i could totally be wrong on that so i can't really uh use that to judge you notice how the sound as soon as it, it goes away then i gotta start it all over again oh it just disappears here okay and then missions you know this is the same you it wants you to use your three attempts a day and you're gonna get one ticket and you get some currency and these are this is the battle pass track um currency and then your achievements are basically this basically Pull heroes, because there's some stuff in here that you want to be able to pull in the uh, collab recruitment. And then, like, take part in the defense of Iron Eater Village ten times. That one also includes um, the the challenge one, the uh, the simulation one. So you can just go in there uh, over and over and over again to get some more of these rewards right away, right? I think it's 30 is the max. And then right here, perform a total of 120 collab recruitments. Well, you know, we're going to get another banner in two weeks. So I pulled 60 the first time. At least they're only expecting you to pull 120. But you're not getting a whole lot. You're just getting one ticket in eight of these red, uh, this red currency. Clear all story stages. I got to do that after this. And then here it says use Eva in Sh e or Eva 1 in the defense of the Iron Eater Village. That's the, the world boss. Use 0, use 2, use 6. So they are expecting you to use what one two three four and i did uh it's it's all five because i got the other one right there use eva 8b so they're expecting you to actually get all the heroes which you can do you're just going to get them really 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 low evolution but um this stuff it is this is all you know other the collab recruitment tickets yes you use those to pull and the currency you use to buy stuff in the store which is still free stuff in the end and then the stuff that you get on the end the the xp and the gold that's basically worthless you know no one really needs that although you know arguably you, you, you will use it to level up heroes but it's it's negligible very 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 negligible in the end so this i'm going to give that just an even that is just the same as it was last time so i'm going to give that just a and even Stevens, no, nothing really to say there. That's as expected. So that's the missions, the milestones, leaderboards. So what do you get? You get five red runes a day, some currency and diamonds. I think this is exactly the same as last time. So cool. You know what? This is, is still good. This is arguably good. The fact that you're getting red runes every day. Uh, but let's see, if there, is there someone that doesn't? So if we go all the way down to 50. Oh, okay. So even if you just... Don't basically just don't do it. Or if you're just starting the game and you get a thousandth, you still get uh, a red runes every day for 24 days. So that's what two times you're going to get 50 or, you know, not 50, but 40. Yeah, no, you're going to get over for you're going to get 56 red runes, which is still good value. That's like $50 worth of value ish. Uh, and if you get in the top, is it 10 every day? Yeah, if you get in the top 10 every day, then you're getting, you know, 
five red runes every day, which is great. Like that, you can't really complain about free red runes. And then you're going to get these rewards three times after you kill. Right now, this is if you kill, uh, or sorry, because you're not killing it. When the fourth angel version is is passes out from exhaustion and goes away, then you're going to get these rewards, which let's go look. So is it the, the top 10? Oh, no. We still have people still getting 30. 30. Okay. Oh, still get 30. Does uh, Looks like the top 30 are going to get 30 gene hybrids. So basically half a gene hybrid. So you're going to get one and a half gene hybrids over the course of the event. And then, then they get, what, 70 and 18. So you're going to get uh, just shy of one full uh, of these. Uh, one full gene prototype um, reward if you uh, play every day and you get in the top 30. But if you get to way up top here, like you see, what am I going to get? I'm going to get basically uh, 90, 105 of these. So almost two of these. Uh, this is going to be 30, 33, 90 plus 24. So I'm going to get, that's 114. So I'm going to get almost two gene hybrids if I get first on every phase. And I'm going to get a lot of these. You know, you need 320 to get an Asuka. So I'll get my first Asuka uh, in a few days here. One uh, or however many days it takes when this one dies. I'll be able to get my first one. And my only one from the shop. And then this. Uh, then this is, you know, it's times two. Level two tempering mats. It's kind of behind my head, but you guys get the point. Which is good. This is hard to get. So, you know, I like that reward. So I'm going to get 10, 20, 30. If I get first every phase, I'm going to get 30 of these, which is only able, to, I can only temper one piece, which, you know, it's not a lot, but it is something. So, you know, for this, it, since it's exactly the same, I still got to give them a, a fail on it though, because we explicitly said that this is not the type of boss we wanted. We made that very, very, very clear that this was boring and lazy and it gets so repetitive doing this day after day. We were just adamantly expressed, please do not make it like this again. Make every different phase. And you know what? If every different phase is different, if if the boss does different things, if it's actually hard, which it is, it isn't. It isn't hard. Like I can just hit simulation here and go and just watch them. No one's gonna die. Like no one's gonna die, and I have no healer in here. There's no healing. It's just it's just a punching bag. Like, I don't know what abilities he does, and I don't have to know, because it doesn't matter. Like, no one's lost any health. So. It's, it's lazy. It's, it's boring and lazy. So I am, I am going to give them a fail on this. Other than, you know, the reward's cool. You know, you know, that's extra stuff. Yay. But, you know, this isn't making me excited. The first time I played it, I thought that the, the model of the boss was cool first time but not the second time like what like i don't even know what he does I, I i didn't read it so when there are no targets immediately range increase damage okay so that's why in a previous when i was testing other stuff i died so okay cool so you just got to bring in dominic or an assassin so um yeah free stuff but otherwise you know they didn't learn anything from the last one so i am gonna have to give them a fail on this one all right oh boy now we get into the last bit the collab recruitment. The, the, you know, that was one of the, you know, the collab boss was one thing that we were adamant, you know, that we didn't like. But the biggest, the biggest complaint the community had, you know, just adamantly, I don't know, you know anybody that was a fan of this, is this type of recruitment banner. Uh, like, just, just the banner itself, the fact that it's a dual banner with a 50 50 chance to get one of these at pity and if you never get mari then you're screwed and you got a buyer or pull 300 tickets which you're probably gonna have to buy as well because not many people have 300 tickets laying around so that's a fail like just the fact that this it's, it's a fail what this should what they should have done and it was a very easy fix to make this better like they could have both heroes on this banner but you know what you do you make it like a wishlist banner where you get one copy every 60 tickets and you can choose you can swap it back and forth if we could, if you did that guarantee you the community be like you did it much better this time you made it so i can choose and i know that i have I only have to pull 120 tickets in order to uh, get both but that's also the reason why they didn't do it 
because they want you to not get one of these heroes and they want you to either say say you didn't get Mari say you pulled 120 tickets and you didn't get Mari then you have two options if you really want her you buy the $30 uh, battle pass and you get two copies or you purchase a bunch of limited tickets and you pull the 300 and you can pick her out of the selector so that is why they did not make this a wish list. Now, if you don't get Shinji, which I know people, some people that have not, then the only way you're going to get him is to pull to 300, again, out of the selector, or wait 17 days and then miss out on rewards in the event. So they're they're forcing you into a prisoner's dilemma here. Either Actually, it's, it's not really a prisoner's dilemma. That's just the, the term that came to mind. But that is why they left it like this. Is they're creating FOMO in you in order to go get Mari a separate way or to, you know, go buy limited tickets to get Shinji a second way. But that's not where this ends. So that in itself is somewhat similar to how they did this last time. Because if you didn't get the one that was in the battle pass... Uh, I can't remember who was the battle pass. Why do I think it was Batu? Uh, but you could go buy the battle pass and get two copies. I think it was Batu. I, I can't remember. It was probably Batu. Uh, but that's that's not all. And this this system right here, they they totally changed the way that this is set up. But this the way that this is set up is independent of the collab event because I've been informed that this this ladder this uh, this rearranging of rewards is uh going to carry over into the mirror of reformation uh pull events so this one of course lasts for 28 uh, days but the mirror of reformations are weak uh but you used to be able to pull 180 where is it where's the 180 so in the first collab event if you pulled to 180 you got the selector and then you were able to choose which which on one you got not 300 that's almost double, and that's ridiculous. This that that's ridiculous. So that in itself is ridiculous because there's barely, like there's not there's even whales that don't have just three hundred tickets lying around. That's that's effectively three hundred dollars. We're just gonna say it's probably less, but I'm gonna call it three hundred bucks. And for one copy, no, no, three hundred dollars should get you a whole a whole maxed out hero. And then, yeah, of course, they they and the reason why they also redid this is because they wanted to slot in these awakening uh, materials. And uh, what thirty there? So you see, they got they got. I think I already got I already got one. I think one was at thirty. And then you can get a whole awakening crystal in eighty pulls, and then you can get the the general one, the uh, universal one at one eighty, which. And you know the astrals, unless you're a, unless you're a kraken that cares about astrals because you care about getting you know like the, it's such it's such a minuscule amount of astrals in the long run because because remember it takes roughly 2,400 astrals to get a full uh, a maxed out SP 2,400 yeah that's 2,400 the dust you get from hero rallies that's not a big deal uh, but then yeah like ugh you get you get a bunch ugh like it goes to seven goes to 720. It's like a thousand bucks, a lot less. It's like seven hundred bucks if you were gonna pull everything. So this is bad. This is this is just bad. But if and I'm not gonna pull. You know what? Ah, screw it. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull a little bit more just so you guys can see what this looks like. So here. So they changed it. So this is basically a mirror of Reformation uh, cutscene. And it's set up the same. You're gonna get the same kind of rewards. You're gonna get. You're gonna get. Gene hybrids. You're gonna get red runes, and you're gonna get a re and you're gonna get these uh, gene prototype, the universal crystal shards, and then you're just gonna get green and blue heroes, right? So this, if you've pulled astral tickets, it's this. This is the same. This is set up the same way, and uh, for for them allowing you, you know, for th for them being so gracious as to allow you to actually get gene hybrid shards. Universal Crystal Shards and Red Runes while pulling on the Mirror Reformation or Star Echo events for their, you know, for um, 
the pleasure of them allowing you to do that, to get those rewards, there's no chip shop. Because I've pulled now, what, 70 tickets. So if I was to pull 10 more, I would get my Gene Hybrid. But no, there, there's no Gene Hybrid. There's there's no store. No, no, no store whatsoever. And that means that free-to-play are losing one of their methods of getting Gene Hybrids. Because remember, this isn't just for this event. This is going to carry over to the Mirror of Reformations as well. Now, I I'm, that that is... That is... It's not... It's third-hand information. So it's not guaranteed. But why... Why? Why? No chip shop here. Like this... It, I, get, I, I sense it in the cockles of my heart that the Mirror of Reformations are going to be the same because... I think that what you get when you're pulling on them is going to be the same. It's going to be this awakening stuff because they did say that they were going to put awakening materials in Mirror of Reformations. But moving this to 300 is dirty. Removing the chip shop is dirty. You know, that's going to be... Uh, that's two less gene hybrids that someone can get free to play or whales a month. So two less gene hybrids a month. You know, it's only 24 a year, but... That's a lot. And I guess it's it's going to be a little bit less than that because you are getting shards when you pull. But it's just dirty, man. I just don't like it. I don't like it whatsoever. Don't like it at all. So this gets a, this gets a hard fail. Hard, hard, hard fail. Okay. So what I want to show you now, that's the collab event in general. Um, for the free stuff that we get, cool. That's free stuff. That's stuff that we're not going to get otherwise. But... Our biggest gripes, the 50-50 the banner, they left it in there the way it was. And um, that thing he did with the, the battle passes, having two, that's dirty. And then uh, what was the other big one? The big uh, complaint was the uh, the boss itself was boring and lazy. And you know what? You just you made it worse. So um, given the enormous negative feedback it, it, that this event has received, um, like I'm seeing whales leaving the game in droves and it was funny because the uh, the official eternal evolution discord turned into a absolute bitch fest by everybody in there including the moderators about the game no one was defending this no one and uh, because of the uh, the widespread uh, pushback let's see if i can find it it is Actually, uh, I'm just going to move this over here until I bring it up because I have to go into a private uh, Discord. Actually, no, I can do it in my Discord. Yeah, we can do it in mine. Okay, we can go back. Okay, so in... Um, and I got to make sure... Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Oh, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to save this image. Save image. And then we should be able to pull it up now. I think it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of read this. Okay, so given the enormous negative feedback that uh, they've received, this is what uh, the information that they've... First, they, they gave it to us, and then it disappeared, and then I found it again um, here it was from the uh, PIV. So one, this, to address people's concerns, one, EVA 2 and Asuka, so EVA 2... Um, you know, people were complaining about the exclusivity of her. So they've said, you can get Asuka in the exchange shop with 320 Iron Eater favors. Those are the red ones. And you can get 336 from the daily missions and achievement missions and milestones. But it also says and in the leaderboard. So. So, since they said and in the leaderboard... Keep in mind that the uh, the people that get first on the leaderboard get a lot more. This is the leaderboard. So you either get 180 in when you're in first, or if you get, say, like just an average person. So you get 20th, you're going to get 90. So that's 30 less. That's 90 less in the, in the course of the entire event. 90 less, right? Okay. 90 less in the course of the event. So 90... Subtract 336 does not give you, give you enough to get um, Asuka. 
Is my math wrong? So they're making it sound like, yes, you can get 336 from all of this stuff. And you can get at least 105 of these. Um, you can get at least 105 iron fav Easter favors. What? Uh, the higher you rank, the more favors. Okay, I, I don't know. It says you get 100, 336 from the daily missions, achievements, missions, and milestones. And, oh, I'm reading, okay. And in the leader, okay, so you can get enough red ones just from playing the game every day. But keep in mind, you have to score a certain amount. You have to do a certain amount in the, in the boss fight. And then, this is separate. And in the leaderboard, you can get at least 105. At least 105, okay. The higher your rank, the more you can get. Okay, so you will... As long as you play the game, you will get a copy of Asuka. It's just going to be way down the line. So you will get her. You just have to play. So that is that addresses one concern. Number two, Eva 1, Shinji. You can get Shinji in the exchange shop with 1,000 Iron Eater Gratitudes. Uh, from daily missions, you get 840. Participation, participation in the boss challenge, you get 315. Means you get 1,155. So you can get enough for that copy of him in the exchange shop. There are also many other ways, blah, 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 blah. So, so there is enough currency in game to get both Asuka and Shinji from the exchange shop. Which means you just better be able to pull Mari from the recruitment event. Three, every three. Okay, so this is the recruitment. So this is in response to them removing the chip shop. Every 300 draws, you can, you will, you can get, can get, four to five collab heroes. So I did 300 and I did get five. You can get 72 gene hybrid shards, which still, in 300 draws, given RNG, 72 gene hybrid shards. What is 300 divided by 80? It is almost four. So we went from getting. Enough chips to get almost four gene hybrids to not getting one. You can get a full universal crystal shard, which really, we can farm that. We can farm that from Terradome. And you might get 60 mythic runes, which red runes, okay. Still cool, but this is, an, a, this is still a significant nerf. This doesn't, this doesn't dissuade anybody's uh, negative criticism. The probability of getting premium items in the collab banner is as high as 32%. The Star Echo event also provides an additional collab hero. Yes, at 300. At 300. Soul memory card. There are uh, soul memory cards. Those are the, the blue ones, I do believe. Let me go look here. Yeah, soul memory cards are the blue uh, recruitment cards. There are more cards invested than the early than the previous collab event. 150 soul memory cards in total. Now we got to find the other picture. So let's save this. Save. Oh wait, here we go. So there are more cards invested than earlier collab event. 150. Yeah, but you're not telling us what the last one had. So there are 150 soul memory cards in total. Oh, okay, but keep in mind that that's going to include the paid tracks. So for free to play, that doesn't help them. So you're not being completely um, explanatory with this. Number five, the devs listed your suggestions. Twilight Lands and Endless Battle will also be open during the EVA collaboration. In my, you know, in my opinion, it always was going to be. Uh, there was one. There was a one-week delay when the last collab event um, opened, and the reason for that, the real reason, is because they wanted to do the the um, the endless battle for the one-year anniversary event. They wanted to do that. So you know how they had like two all the bosses. They wanted the endless battle to line up with the anniversary event. It's not, you know, this, this, this is a, this is just a plot. This is an empty platitude. You know, it's, it's, they weren't going to delay it again. This is just an easy thing they can say to kind of placate you. Uh, like, if you look at the timings before, the only reason why they pushed it back before is because they wanted the endless, they wanted the endless battle to line up with the, properly with the one year anniversary where they had it slotted in. 
In terms of story challenge, uh, the content is more and longer than last time. And the rewards are better. The bosses are also different in each stage. Yes, I did give them a, a, a passing or a better grade in terms of story, but it was still kind of a piss poor uh, effort in my opinion. Seven, the cola. Oh yeah, this is really, this is really gonna make people pissed off. The cola plas passes are extremely cost effective. For $15, you get 20 draw tickets and a limited avatar, which we don't care about. 50 mythic runes, 50 blue sh or 50 the red shards. Yes, extremely cost effective. For $30, you can get 30 draw tickets, two collab heroes, many resources. The two passes are independent of each other it can be per or and can be purchased separately. Yes, but you went from having everything in one pass and you're like, let's just charge them more for another pass. I'm not giving you a, a I'm not giving you an, uh, a free pass on this one. Haha, <laughs> I'm not giving you a free pass. You get what I did there? No, you get you get nothing from that. That is still slimy and dirty. Number eight. Each Eva 2 and Asuka. What? Each Eva 2 pack contains two copies of Asuka and 20 gene hybrids and mythic runes, which is unbeatable in terms of cost performance. I want to swear right now. You're going to say that charging $99 for two copies of the best hero is unbeatable cost performance. You know what I want to say. It starts with F and ends in U. Seriously? Maybe I shouldn't have done this because now I'm getting kind of heated. Number nine. At the same time, Christmas events will be launched simultaneously in the middle and later stages of the EVA collaboration. Expected to be on December 21st and you can get a lot of rewards. Yes. You know what though? We were going to get the, the Christmas events anyway. Like, why is that... Why does that matter? Why are you saying that? You're you're saying that don't worry, we're going to we're you're going to get an event in the middle of this which we were going to give you anyway. That doesn't take away from all of our criticisms of this event. So that's a little look behind the curtain, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that that about sums it up since I've been talking for 40 minutes. Uh I didn't really want to get this angry. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to play the devil's advocate, you know, this is all just free stuff. It, they, you know, ever, and we all say who asked for this. You know, we had the the last collab event and then the one year and then this. We're all drained of resources, especially since Double Chips was in the one year. If, if they didn't give us this, if they had not given us this, then... Um, we would have we would have missed out on on free stuff because we are undeniably getting a whole lot of free stuff from this. I think they did well in the opening cinematics of the EV units. I think I I personally like the models of the EV units. It's just that you went from the first collab event, which no one liked, and then you released another SP hero, which no one likes. The one year anniversary was fantastic. Then you launched the awakening system, but paywalled it, which no one likes. And then you rolled into this collab event and you removed chips and you put in more paywalled content, which no one likes. So I think that it is a comedy, not a comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy of errors. It is a series of bad decisions that aren't garnering any goodwill with the community. And then you put out platitudes like I just read off. And this is private. So when I first saw this, um, I saw that in uh, the private CC Discord. And then they removed it from there very quickly because I couldn't find it when I went looking. But apparently, the English VIP now has it. And he's, uh, or sorry, PIV now has it. And he's pushing it out there to people that are, that are, ex that are expressing their distaste for the game in its current state. So, grade. If I was going to grade the collab event, you know what? Let's just say that we were cruising along, there was no Ghost in the Show collab event, and there's just this one. Just this one came along. 
we it probably wouldn't feel that bad. There's still some things we would criticize. We would criticize the no chips. We would still criticize that the boss is boring. We would still criticize the 50-50 banner. And the push for monetization. But we are... We are getting a bunch of free rewards. So... I don't, I don't want to give this a final grade. It just is what it is. And um, it is... Unequivocally, unequivocally leading to a lot of people just abandoning the game. Because all they're seeing is paywall, 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 paywall. And we don't need paywall, we actually need content. And this, is this content? Technically, yes. This is technically content. But this is going to be gone. And the units are most likely going to be crap. Except for maybe one and the assassin. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to show you. I was going to show you the, uh, the assassin. How good the assassin is, which is the paywalled hero. Alright, let's see if we can go find that. It's going to be way up here. Keep going. This is my Discord, by the way. It is... Oh, where's the video? Yeah, you see how busy my Discord is. You should really join it. The link is in the description. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. I think. Let's blow this up. Okay. Yeah. So this is, look at this, oh, let me, uh, let me uh, get rid of my head here for a second. This is the team. So it's Samael, Dominic, Fiona, and then Matoko, which is the previous collab unit, and then Asuka. And uh, I just want to go back a bit to see who they're fighting. Where's the team? So this is the team. Oh, okay. So it's not a great assassin team, but uh, let's let's just keep rolling. I'm gonna fast forward it though, because you see Dom down here, and look at Asuka. Look at her damage. Uh, I do believe at the end of this fight, Asuka is gonna be topping the damage meter. So we were all impressed with Matoko's damage, and let's. Uh, well, let's pause it there. Okay. So, out of these units, and you see, we don't, I, I don't know what these are. I think they're all obviously just Immortal Zero, and Asuka is Immortal Zero. But, and I don't know their X levels, but Asuka is doing a uh, monster ton of damage. And I heard with her, um, her cheat deaths, she is very, very tanky. So... Um, what I hear is that the, the, the tip of the spear PvP team is Samael, Dominic, Fiona, and then it is Helentis and Caraxia. So I'm thinking we're going to be able to remove Helentis and put in Asuka and have an even better um, assassin uh, PvP team. So the, the, the whole point of that was that they paywalled the, probably the best hero in the game. Not in the game, in the collab event. Yeah, if you want her, go buy her. Go buy her, or you better uh, make sure you log in and play every day, and you're going to get one copy. So you do have access to her. You just got to play every day. Instead of me grading it, um, ladies and gentlemen, if you've made it to the end, it's a 45-minute video, tell me down below. Express, first of all, give me uh, an F to A. Give me a grade. How would you grade this event, this whole collab event? And then express your opinions as I have in the comment section below. Till next time, everybody. I, s I swear I didn't mean to be this angry. Cheers, peace, bye-bye.